The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the next film. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Hey, hi. Sorry. We're not going to take questions just yet. At no, the no, end no, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I just quickly... I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, everybody! We're going to take questions Yo, at yeah, the yeah. end. So we'll I'm take... sorry. Do you mind if I... Can I, say, can I say one thing? This is... I think this might be the most incredible day of my life, and I've always wanted to be at Comic-Con in Hall H as Spider-Man with all of you guys has always been a dream of mine. All right. So thanks for having me. <laughs> you have no idea, you have no idea how much this means to me. I've always wanted to come here as a fan and this is my first time, so here I am as a fan. <laughs> I just want to say a couple of things. I'm Andrew Garfield and I'm going to be here introducing this panel, this amazing Spider-Man panel. Stan Lee says that the reason why Spidey is so popular is because all of us can relate to him, and I agree. I needed Spidey in my life when I was a kid, and he gave me hope. In every comic I read, he was living out mine and every skinny boy's fantasy <laughs> of being stronger, of being free of the body I was born into, and that swinging sensation of flight. And upon receiving his power, unlike most who, who become corrupted, he used it for good. And I think we all wish that we had the courage to, to stick up for ourselves more, to, to stick up for a loved one more, or even a stranger you see being mistreated. And Peter Parker has inspired me to feel stronger. He made me, Andrew, braver. He reassured me that by doing the right thing, it, it's worth it. It's worth the struggle. It's worth the pain. It's worth even the tears, the bruises, and the blood. And I, and I, I, I wouldn't be able to stand here in front of you guys right now without feeling that Spider-Man was here with me with his reassuring hand on my shoulder, making sure I don't fall over and concuss myself. <laughs> And he has inspired countless people, girls, boys, men, women, all of us. And he has saved lives and he saved my life. And I owe Webhead a lot and I owe Stan the Man a lot. And I'm humbled to be here, like you do not know, to share the work that we've done with all of you. And this is my first Comic Con. And. <laughs> and <laughs> This is definitely the coolest moment of my life, and thank you for being here and sharing it with me. Without further ado, I want to introduce the people you're going to talk to. Um, first of all, the incredibly genius producer, Matt Tomac. The, the Spidey aficionado. Oh, there's Matt. That's Tomac. There it is. And it's the Spidey aficionado and Marvel legend, Avi Arad. Hello, Avi, it's time. Avi! <laughs> oh, well. Oh, there he is! Um, the, our, our leader, um, the mastermind, the weaving this tangled web, Mark, no pun in, well, pun intended web. <laughs> ah! And um, your extraordinary Gwen Stacy, Emma Stone. And let's not forget the star of the film, Mr. Andrew Garfield, once again. There he is. That was the coolest thing ever. That was so fun. I, was, I wasn't going to do it. I was so scared that I was like, I got to do it. Thanks for, thanks for letting me do that. <laughs> There's such a wealth of material in the Spider-Man canon that hasn't yet been explored cinematically, and I certainly felt that sort of pressure. But I was, there's so many things about Peter Parker in particular that I found stimulating. He's the most, I think, one of the most relatable uh, characters in, in, in comics, and I found that very, very appealing. I mean, there's things like, the, in terms of the material specifically, like the Gwen Stacy saga in the, in the, in the Marvel comics, I think, is, is really iconic, and I, I thought that was a really wonderful thing to, 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 to give life to. And then... I mean, Spider-Man, he's a, a part of our culture. He is a perennial character. He's there, he was there before uh, uh, I was born. He'll be there after I, I die. And I just felt an incredible sense of enthusiasm 
for that character that, that just kept me up at night. And when the opportunity came along, uh, thanks to these guys, I, I, it just was too intoxicating and irresistible to, 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 to turn away from. Can we talk maybe about the villain of the film? We, we didn't have a villain. No villains. No, there's no too villain. many in the last movie. No villains. So pretty, we, uh, yeah. I'm so no. sorry. Well, well there, is, there is a villain. His name is Dr. Kurt Connors. Oh, Kurt Connors. Otherwise known as the lizard, for those of you who know. And I